there, I'm coming on to share with you uh, a package that I received. And this is from our lovely Amy, who is Al John, here on uh, YouTube. And recently, Amy had some packages up um, for sale, and they uh, are from her scrap exchange or from her scrap store. And so I, I, I think a long, long time ago, and Amy might help me remember, I don't know, but I think a long, long time ago, Amy sent me um, a few little uh, of these double-sided um, things uh, years ago. I mean, it's been a while. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, have been hoarding them. <laughs> And uh, so when I saw that she had these packages up for sale, and I'm, I'm telling you folks, this is heavy, and it's fat. You can see how fat it is. I mean, <clears throat> when she had these up, I decided I would go ahead and get one. And so I wanted to share with you um, some of the things that are in here. And so I'm going to try to, well, it looks like there might be a, a card or a letter or something. Oh, this just says, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. A small token of appreciation. All thank yous all around. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate the opportunity to purchase this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. There's some of Amy's little flowers. These are like little, little, I always call them balloon flowers because most of the time folks make them with balloons. They're on book paper. How pretty are these? Um, but you can make them any way, any way you like with just, um, you know, putting down some, some different colors, different, you know, and, and then drawing your shapes around with um, marker. And uh, this one says, live and um, this one says love aren't those pretty thank you amy thank you ever so much those are beautiful thank you you didn't have to send anything extra oh but this is so nice thank you so much i love it and then there's a little folder here take the paper clip off oh this says contents and date it's a little sticker and oh, there's a beautiful card in here. It's all matching. Oh, that's pretty. That's just a, a, a little single card with an envelope to match. How pretty is that? Thank you, Amy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I can get a lot of use out of that. Oh, here's a time card, or I think it might be a time card. Yeah, a time card. Fun. Those are always fun to put in different um, projects. and. This is like a little, this is the most beautiful paper. This is like a little um, tuck folder almost, and I will be utilizing that as well. Thank you so much, Amy. That's really sweet. Amy is such a, such a dear and has the most amazing tutorials, and the most amazing tutorial series. So if you don't happen to know Amy, um, I will definitely link her, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out of here. <laughs> okay, yep, let's do it. There we go. My goodness, you had that stuffed, girl. It's stuffed. I mean, really stuffed. Wow. Yep, she's even got it taped shut here so that it would stay closed. Um... Amy has, as I said, the most amazing tutorials and uh, series, and I will link uh, her channel below so that you can go and, uh, and subscribe to Amy and watch her uh, videos. Oh my goodness. Well, let's just start with what came out already. These are all double-sided stickies. Now, Amy has a video. I'm going to show these really quickly because Amy does have a video where she goes through practically everything that she put in here but these have dimension to them if you can see that they're kind of thick I don't know how well you're you're able to see it but they are kind of thick 
Um, so they would be so nice to pop um, up a something, you know, something up on a project. Let me show you here. See how thick those are? There you go. So you'll be able to, you know, get a lot of, I will be able to get a lot of good out of these in the, and the adhesive on these, on the ones that I have, um, the few uh, little ones that I have left from years ago are, uh, they're still absolutely perfect and the adhesive is really good. It's really nice and uh, heavy duty. It really sticks. And he, these are little, they're almost ovals. So those are great. Oh my goodness, look at these huge ones. Look at these huge ones. Wow. Those are really awesome. And as Amy will tell you, some of them have a have a white core, which is the inside between the two pieces, the two um, adhesives. This is a white core, and uh, and some of them have gray, and some of them have black. Wow, you can cut things out of these, of course. You can. I mean, they're just these are going to be come in so handy. And these are also, now they have the gray core, they have the gray on the inside. There we go. And um, these are sort of an odd shape with a little nook out of the top of them, but those are neat too. This thing is jammed full. Oh, and here's some discs. These will come in really handy. Now they're rather relatively thin, which is good in a way because these, I think, look to be about the size of an AT, AT coin. Um, an artist trading coin. They're almost, they're just a hair smaller than two and a half inches. So I, th I still think that you could put that on, you know, make an artist trading coin out of this because I think that the, um, I read or heard someone online say that the lady who actually invented the artist trading coin said that they can be any size. Now, if any of you have researched that out and, and actually found the lady who, who really invented artist trading coin, um, most people are making them two and a half inches, but um, according to what I, and it was somebody on YouTube, and if I find it, I will put it in the link below, but I probably won't be able to find it now, but they said that you can make them any size. So, oh my goodness, and here's some circles. Are, oh, these are the ones that Amy showed that have the red, real pretty red, um, shiny, almost looks like patent leather. There you can see. Looks like patent leather, and, uh, and these are discs, red discs. And there's some oh, really huge ones. Oh, here's some more red discs. Awesome. Here's some really big ones. big these are. Those are huge. So, I, are they, this it is really going to come in handy. And these, um, they're all like rectangles almost all of them. There's one in there that's a little bit of a different shape, but they're all like rectangles um, pieces. So those will come in handy for all kinds of things. These are kind of a... Oh, a rectangle with two rounded corners. It reminds me of a little windshield. <laughs> kind of, I guess windshield shape if there is such a thing and um, some of these uh, ones that kind of look like um, 
a gumdrop, a big gumdrop. <laughs> so those are those are um, some some more shapes that are going to be great to use. And these are all like I said, all double sided, sticky. Oh, these are thick ones, thick and kind of soft and spongy. Now, you know. You can use these for household things. You can use them for your craft items, of course. You can, you know, you know, you're gonna get a lot of uses out of these. There, I hope you can see the shape of that one without too much glare there, I hope. There we go, maybe. But anyway, those are those look like a little a little tombstone <laughs> since it's Halloween. Whoopsie! Here's some these are little, are these teardrop? No, they aren't teardrops. They're like a little, now these look like a bonbon chocolate. They're a little dome shape. Can you tell what that looks like there? Like a bonbon chocolate? You can tell what I love, huh? There you can see. Love me some chocolate. Okay, and then here's some little little circles, and they're different sizes. There's some little itty bitty ones and some bigger ones. Cool. Oh, and here's some awesome circles too. There's a whole bunch of circles in here, and then also some more rectangles that are. Let's see if I can get that. To do that. There we go that size of a rectangle. So there's a ton. Now, I don't know if each one of these kits are exactly the same. I really don't know that. I, I highly kind of doubt that they would be exactly the same um, because they're just kind of random. These look like a little placard, like a little oval, long oval shape there with some squares. Or no, those are more rectangles, aren't they? Very slightly rectangle. Red on this side. Maybe it's that shiny red again. So I'm not sure if they would all be the same or not, but um, I'm sure that whatever comes in the kit would be uh, really amazing. And Amy is going to be having some more. Now these look like... Um, candy corn, the shape of a big candy corn. Like I said, you can tell where my mind is at, huh? And then these are some... I know that shape has a name where there's a diagonal here and a diagonal here, but I can't think of it. I don't remember my geography that well. Or my, not my geography, my geometry. <laughs> that well. Anyway, but I know there is a shape like that <laughs> that has a, has a, it's almost a rectangle, but it has two um, diagonal cuts on each end. <laughs> there, maybe you can see it better there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And, oh, then there's some of these shapes that were, that Amy showed as well. Wow, they're big. Those are so cool. Golly, I just, I'm not sure what all good, great uses I'm going to have for these, but I'm going to find some awfully good uses for them. And then here are a bunch of, of circles that have two little... Mm. two little tabs kind of like the top of a Christmas bulb um, on there so there's a, a whole bunch of those so oh my goodness Amy this is super amazing super amazing I don't really I think I can I think I can actually use freely and not hoard. I really, really do. I think I'll have enough to last me pretty much a lifetime now. So, so I think I can go ahead and just use away and not hoard everything. <laughs> this is a great thing. I love it. So, 
Thank you ever so much, Amy. This is amazing for you to go and pick out all this stuff for us, for those of us who don't have. I mean, I'm sure there's probably one of these type scrap stores somewhere near me, um, but I'm so unused to um, every all, all the places that are here and near and not very far away. Um, this is the first place I have ever lived in my lifetime other than where I was born and raised except for ve three very short years when I was a little little girl first through third grade where I wasn't doing any driving didn't really care where I was as long as my parents were there with me and my brother of course and so um, I lived there for three short years and the rest of my lifetime was spent in the, the place where I was born and raised so this is kind of new for me to be here and so I I think there's probably a scrap store but I don't know where it is so <laughs> I may find one sometime but until then I've got all the sticky back stuff I can use <laughs> thank you ever so much Amy and uh, until I visit with you all next time thank you for watching and God bless you bye bye